I'd like to take you on a tour of the Woods Wine Cellar. This is a very unique cellar. Uh, you can, you're looking at the completed project, looking through the front windows. Uh, this cellar is a combination of custom and kit wood racking, as well as metal racking. Uh, we're going to start out with the drawings. This is the overhead view of the plan view of the cellar. You see that it can hold a total of 1,381 bottles. Uh, you are looking at um, the front wall here, elevation B. The back wall is elevation A. The left is C and the right is elevation D. We're going to move on and show you elevation A. Uh, we used uh, kit racks on the bottom. These are uh, solid diamond bins. Uh, this is a support rack on each side where the side racks um, are positioned. Above you see the metal racking. We use three foot tall metal racks on the two sides. The center is a big bottle rack that holds four uh, big bottles, three and six liter bottles. Uh, the customer decided to put a granite tabletop along this back wall in place of the wooden one that we have drawn in. Going to move on to Elevation B. Elevation B is up at the front. Uh, you have a window above, so we have a small tabletop above. We have solid X bins and a horizontal display row on the end finishing it off. You'll notice that each of our racks are 12 and a quarter inch deep in order to um, be the same depth as the kit racks that we used in parts of the wine cellar. Elevation C on the left wall, again we're using a solid diamond bin with case storage. Uh, we have a tabletop above and metal racking above that. Again, these bottles are three deep. On the right wall, elevation D, this is all uh, wooden racking. It is uh, floor to ceiling. We have a 3 and 7 eighths inch high uh, two-step crown and a 4 inch high base, uh, adding a bit of elegance to the racking. Uh, this again is all custom racking. We have four display rows, a high reveal display row and three low reveal display rows. Each of these has a light balance above so that LED ribbon lighting can be added. Moving on here, you'll see the overhead view. Uh, this is again the back wall and the right wall. Uh, you can also see we have horizontal racking here going up at the end of this row so that that is shown through the front window. Uh, here is the back wall and the left wall. Here we have a view from the front, a view from the back, and looking back in through the windows. Now this view here is very similar to what you're seeing here looking through the windows. Uh, we're going to move on to some of the completed pictures. Uh, you have the left wall here, com totally completed. Uh, you'll note, well, you can't see it very well here, but this is a wooden tabletop here. He just did the granite tabletop in the back. Uh, there you can see the granite tabletop a little better. Uh, here is the left wall again. You're looking here at the front section. Uh, you can kind of see the ends of the bottles sticking out on the horizontal rack that's on the end here, and this is the horizontal rack down the side. These racks are all done in an unfinished premium redwood. Uh, it goes very well with the stone uh, flooring and walls that Mr. Woods decided to add to his cellar. Here you're seeing the left wall with the solid bins and the horizontal rack. Um, what you're looking at here is the where the air is coming in to cool this cellar. We have a vent in the ceiling. Rather than using an actual split system, we used a Cellar Pro 4200 VSI, which sits in the garage next door, and the air is ducted into the cellar. Uh, in the back, you can see the vent where the return air goes out. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Woods Wine Cellar. This was all supplied by Wine Cellar Specialists.